Hey guys, this is Steve Huff, stevehuffphoto.com. I wanna show you guys my new lighting. I've had it for about three or four weeks and they are beauties. Let's sit down there and talk about it. And that little intro was brought to you by the GoPro 7. I just received my GoPro 7 today and it is amazing, guys. It is gimbal-like performance. I bought it, I pre-ordered it from Amazon and it just arrived today. The performance is very gimbal-like. Without a gimbal, this is going to be my new favorite GoPro and I skipped on the 6, I skipped on the 5. I didn't think they were very good. I kept my 4 with the GoPro Karma Grip and now I'm loving the 7, but we're not here to talk about GoPro. I am here to talk about lighting and what I've been using for my videos here and on other channels and on other applications. Um, it's absolutely amazing lighting for the money. Now about a month ago, the company Falcon Eyes sent me one of their LED light units. Thin as a pancake, soft box lighting without the soft box. These are the model number SO48TD from Falcon Eyes. They can be run off power from the wall or they can be run on two Sony batteries and you can take it off the light stand and use it to signal Batman, just throw on some uh, construction paper, cut out a bat. These things are so uber cool. Now I usually don't review lighting because I've always been a natural light guy. For photography, natural light in my opinion is king. I always found studio strobes to be best for, well, studio. And since I don't do studio photography, I'm more of a candid street shooter, concert, that kind of stuff, low light. I never really use lights for my photography, but for video, and if you're a YouTuber or doing videos on YouTube, lighting is key. You need lighting, otherwise your videos are going to look like crap, right? So Falcon Eye sent me one of these SO48TDs. Very thin LED light panel uh, that puts out soft light, and soft light is key. They're constant soft light, and they have a control pack on the back where you can adjust the light intensity from 1% all the way up to 100%. You can adjust the color temperature from 3000 Kelvin to 5600 Kelvin. If you have two of them, you can set them to the same channel and operating one will make the changes on the second one automatically. So if you have them on separate sides of the room, they will link up and you can control the light from uh, one of the control pack. You just have to make sure they're on the same channel together like I have mine. Now Falcon Eye sent me one of these in a case, no light stand, with two batteries and I loved it so much I immediately went out and I bought a second one from Amazon and I bought two heavy-duty light stands that are absolutely blowing me away. These light stands, honestly guys, for 50 bucks, these are well worth the cost if you're using any kind of lighting for photography or video. These are amazing light stands, 50 bucks a piece. Not uber cheap, but they are on another level from the cheapo stands that I used to have. Now recently I did a review of a pair of $69 softbox lights that blew me away because they were so cheap. For 69 bucks, I even said in that review, they might even be disposable and break after a year, but so what? Buy another set at 69 bucks every year, right? They were really good. And while not perfect in the light quality, they put out a very soft light. But these are on another level. These Falcon Eyes SO48 TDs are on another level, not only in light quality, but control, of course. They don't put out any heat. They don't make any noise. Um, again, everything can be dialed in right on the back. So say, for example, you set your color temperature to 5600 on the light, you can set your camera manually to 5600 and you should get decent color. They are made to a very high quality. The reason I waited about a month before I wanted to do a video on these is because I wanted to make sure nothing would break down or go wrong with them and nothing has. Though I did find a weakness. With the power adapter, the cable going from the control box to the power brick, which is a little heavy, is too short. So it will not lay on the floor, it dangles. So that 
pulls on the cord at the connection point and stresses that connector and I feel after a while that could um, break and fail. So what I did was I taped my control boxes to the light stand so they're not putting that pressure by pulling on that uh, connector cable. So that's an easy fix but I wish Falcon Eyes would have made a longer cable so that power brick could sit on the floor. Um, other than that, these things are beautiful. They're thin, the LEDs are inside, and they aim towards the middle to provide a very soft light that comes through the thick, opaque, white cover. Um, the construction, as I said, is very, very good. I found no issues, and they come in at $369 a piece. And while not cheap, if you want lights that will last you for years and years, and you want soft light, you want small, you want something semi-light that is not huge and going to take up half your room, um, you can get some great lighting for about a thousand bucks, a great soft box, but they're going to be huge, right? These are slim profile. They still put out a soft light. They're powerful. Um, I think I have mine set to 20% right now, and I have one on my left, one on my right. I could have one and just set it in the middle, but I find two puts out a more even light. When you have one, you can get some shadows and kind of, it could look a little weird or a little off. As a matter of fact, let's see what it looks like if I turn one off and just use one. So here I am using one if you want that more dramatic look. I could even bring the light closer to me for an even more dramatic look. So all depending on the look you want, you can even run these on the batteries and hold it uh, to your subject, have an assistant hold it to your subject. And if we turn both off, Well, now my camera won't even want to focus because it's so dark in here it can't find me. So I went years without using lighting for my videos because I never really focused on YouTube. I always focus on my website, stefafoto.com, where I write reviews and have for 10 years. But doing more YouTube videos recently, I wanted a pair of good lights. I wanted a set of good lights. And when Falcon Eye sent me this to evaluate, I immediately wrote them after a few days and said, I love this light. I'm going to go buy another one right off of Amazon right now. I got the two stands, the two lights, and I couldn't be happier. These are the lights, the Falcon Eyes SO48TD. You can find them on Amazon. I'll put the link below in the description if you're interested. Also, I'll put a link below to the battery set you need if you want to use these with batteries because they do not come with the batteries. Well worth it if you want to use it off-site or where you're not going to have power or even to light up a scene somewhere where there's no power. So thank you very much. This is Steve Huff. Check out stevehuffphoto.com. Thank you all. Love to all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.